Ukraine in one minute. Violent clashes in Kyiv between protesters and riot police, which began on Tuesday, continued through the night. Kyiv's metro is still out of service, while the police currently blocks numerous roads entering Kyiv. For the last two days of violence, at least 26 people have been killed, with over a thousand more wounded. The events at the Ukrainian capital triggered unrest in other cities, especially in western region of Ukraine. Activists seized regional administrations, police departments, as well as the offices of pro-government parties. Ukraine in one minute. After a night of negotiations with opposition, President Yanukovych refused to come to a consensus. According to opposition leader Vitaly Klitschko, Yanukovych said that the only possible solution is, quote, to leave everything, clear up the Maidan, and everyone has to go home, end quote. The president also emphasized that opposition should be held responsible for the bloodshed. Meanwhile, Yanukovych announced February 20th as a day of mourning for victims of the confrontation. In his official statement, he said, quote, Any government isn't worth even a drop of spilled blood. End quote. The security service of Ukraine, along with the anti-terrorist center, made a decision to begin preparation for anti-terrorist operations in Ukraine. The Defense Ministry of Ukraine announced the possibility of troop involvement in anti-terrorist operations in Ukraine. Ukraine in one minute.